everyone, Petal is blessed here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a vase decor that I'm going to share with you and I have three styles to go with this decor. So let's get into today's DIY. Okay, I taped off our vase because we are going to add some of this molding paste that I have right here, this acrylic molding paste. And we're going to add some texture to our vase. I have this mixture here that I had mixed up with some silver acrylic paint from before. I have left over, which I want to use it again. So we are just going to add it to our vase. And all I did was throw the paint in there and then mixed it up. <laughs> and now we're adding it to our vase. Just take your time, smooth it out. It's not hard, it's very easy. <laughs> and we're just going to place it going right around our vase. Today's DIY video is a closed collab that I'm doing with the glam queen of DIY <laughs> and the purpose of this collab is a face-off who made it better this is round one <laughs> we're doing a vase decor for round one and round two will be next week Friday so I hope you guys look out for that but today is round one and we're doing a vase decor you can go over and check out glam queen of DIY I will have a link below to her channel so you can see what she made for our face off collab <laughs> now that we've finished adding the molding face going right around the vase we're going to use our comb and add some lines going right around in the molding paste in between the lines just wipe off your comb because you get a lot of molding paste on it so just wipe it off and then continue and here we go all done so we're going to remove the painters tape I like to remove it before the molding paste is dry so nothing doesn't stick Next, we're just going to leave it to set overnight to dry for 24 hours. Okay, so it's the next day and this is how our molding paste looks on the vase. Silver is not too bright, so I'm going to go over it with some more silver acrylic paint. So here we go and as you can see, the silver now is shining right through. So next, I'm going to add some of this glass glitter flakes yep that I got from Michaels <laughs> and to add them I'm just gonna add some more of the silver paint I'm not gonna use any Mod Podge I'm gonna paint back some silver paint lightly over our vase and then I'll just add the glass glitter to that and it will dry along with the paint the glitter will dry so I'm just gonna keep doing this all around our vase Okay, so now it's a few hours later and our vase is dry. So I'm going to go in with this glam silver and blue ribbon from BB Craft. And I'm just going to use some hot glue to glue it going around the vase. Now I'm going to use some E6000 going right around the vase because next I am going to add my favorite glam silver chain from BB Craft going right around our vase. And 
and I'm gonna go around about four times around with the glam chain now I'm going to use this mirror that I got from the Dollar Tree this round mirror and we are going to make a lid with some using some of this foam board here I'm gonna trace out the circle to give our mirror a little support so I'm just gonna use an exacto knife and cut out the shape of the circle Now I'm just going to use some hot glue and glue the foam board to the mirror because it's going to be our lid so we need extra support for the mirror. Now I'm going to use some more of our E6000 and go right round the outside of the mirror <laughs> and then I'll be adding our glam chain <laughs> going right round just to give it a nice look. Now I have this knob here that I got from Amazon, this crystal knob. I'll be placing it onto the mirror, which is the lid for our container. And here is our finished look. Our glam blue silver vase. <laughs> I think it looks very nice. I love the texture of the molding case and I love the glass glitter. I know you can't see it too good on the camera but the glass glitter looks very nice. And here is look number two, our vase with some flowers inside. And here is decor style number three with the lid on. I think this looks absolutely cute with the lid on the vase. The crystal knob. Now we have our bling chain going around the lid. I think it looks absolutely beautiful. And here it is decorated on the coffee table. It's a lovely, lovely storage jar which you can place anywhere throughout your home. I think it looks super cute. It's very nice and affordable and easy to make. And I will leave a link below to all the products that I used in today's DIY in the description box below the video. So I'd like you to leave me a comment down below and tell me which one you like. Decor number one with just a plain vase. Decor number two with the flowers inside. Or decor number three with the lid on top. I like it with the lid on top, but tell me which one you like the best. One, two, or three. <laughs> Alright everyone, if it's your first time here like I said, I hope you will hit that subscribe button on your way out. And don't forget to ring the bell so you'll be notified every time I upload another DIY idea to share with you and I hope everyone will give me a thumbs up for today's video and I hope you guys go down to Glam Queen of DIYs video so you can see what she made for this who made it better face off that we are hosting yeah <laughs> alright everyone thank you so much for coming on and seeing the DIY idea that I had to share with you today and remember as always stay blessed from Petal is blessed and I will catch you on the next one. Bye-bye, everyone.